Okay, hello YouTube, thanks for watching. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about 10 quick and effective strategies for passive lead generation. And these are methods that I'm practicing pretty much on a daily basis, but I also wanna just emphasize that I'm really gonna be talking about a lot of mindset because you know the, there needs to be a, a lot of focus and without focus, you're gonna struggle, all right? So what do I mean by passive lead generation? All right, people often in this in in our, in our space they often talk about passive income um, or whatever, but passive lead generation. So I, I like to look at this as you know you could be you could be out and about with your family, private time, or even at, at your office in your day doing your day job, or whatever it is. You know, in other words, you could be you know off doing your other things other than your, you know, what you're doing on, you know, with regards to your side hustle and, you know, what's actually going on with your side hustle during the times when you're focused on your family or your kids or whether you're at work or doing your job, what's going on with your business during this time. And for a lot of people, I would say, you know, at the end of the day, if they're not on social media or if they're not on or doing the things that they think they should be doing, nothing's happening with their business. All right, and this is what I want to talk about. You know, what can you do even when you're, I don't know, on holiday, you know, maybe sunning yourself on a beach in Mexico, or maybe you are at your office doing your day job, doing the things that you hate, maybe. I don't know, maybe you love your job. Or maybe, you know, you're out with your family, spending quality time with your family. And during that time, when you're focused and you need to be focused because to me, you know, that's the most important time, all right? You know, you need to prioritize, you know, you need to spend good quality time with your family, all right? What's going on with your business in the background? And, you know, this is something that you can stop and think about, you know, while I'm asking you this question. And for a lot of people, I think people will, will look at that and think, right, okay, so nothing, nothing is happening. You know, people wake up in the morning, and I've been there. People wake up in the morning and think, oh my God, I got to get a post out on social media. If I don't, you know, people are going to disconnect from what I'm doing. You know, that people, you know, people are, they're, they're, people are all over the place. They're moving around from business to business. They're focused on so many different things at once. People are panicking. You know, there's a brand new, you know, launch going on. There's uh, somebody's just, you know, dropped a kind of a bombshell, and and you know, there's this new big power line system launching or whatever. And everyone's all panicking, thinking, oh my God, I've got to get, get myself out there. Otherwise, my downline in this company is going to suddenly go off and join this other business. And everyone's gone off into crypto or everyone's gone off into some kind of promise to pay program or whatever. So, you know, people are getting all stressed out, thinking that they're going to lose their, lose their downline or lose their team. And, you know, maybe for some people that is a real thing and, and they're really con concerned about that. And if they don't get, you know, a post out there, th you know, letting people, letting their team know that I, they're focused and what they're doing, or if they don't get a YouTube video up there, or if they're not, you know, grinding or doing something or making it look like that they're really, really focused or passionate, you know, all of a sudden their team are going to go off and get unfocused and start joining these other, other programs. And, you, you know, you've lost these, these quality key people. So, that, you know, that's, so what I'm, what I'm, what I'm talking about is, what can you be doing? You know, it's not just the traffic, you know, the passive traffic programs that I'm going to be talking about. And actually, this video is not really about strategy or specific platforms that I'm going to be talking about. It's just a mindset, you know, really think of this video as a kind of a mindset and, 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 and a focus. And it's not just about traffic or specifics, you know, everything, you know, what's going on in your business as a whole? What, you know, what new people are you bringing in? How are you onboarding people? What are your methods on bringing new people in? Do you have a funnel set up? Do you have a step-by-step -step process of onboarding people that is somewhat passive? In other words, I don't want to use the word automated, you know, because that is used too much and in the wrong way in this space because people are always going on, you know, push button system or, you know, and I, and I, and I, and I, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we have, we, sometimes we put on our marketing cap on or we put on our sales cap on you know, and, and sometimes I'm guilty even myself. But in reality, guys, you know, you want to give out good, honest, ethical communication. And you want to be able to do that in a reasonably, you know, automated way. And again, I'm using that word automated, but I want to make it clear to people what I'm talking about here. Kind of passive, you know, you, you, know, you, you need to be focused on what you're focused on. 
and also spending a lot more time with your family, spending a lot more time with with the important things that you want to be doing. But at the same time, you want to know that your business is being taken care of uh, and you've got a new set of eyeballs looking at your business and where are those eyeballs coming from? Are they quality leads? Um, you know, there's so many things to consider. So that's what I want to talk about, you know. So for me personally, you know, this is a little bit about me now. I'm starting to really focus more on, you know, income producing activities, what's been working for me. And I will say definitely for me, YouTube is fantastic. And I'm really, really focused on my YouTube channel. And and that's been great to me. I'm almost approaching 10,000 subscribers. And I'm looking to boost that to over 30,000 subscribers in the next, you know, literally matter of months. And I'm going to be doing that with certain key strategies in place that are not necessarily going to be, you know, requiring me to put more effort in. But I'm looking to, you know, implement and add and, and grow and launch a podcast that I'm going to be launching. All right. So it's not necessarily going to be, you know, adding a lot more work for me because I'm going to be strategizing in what sort of content I'm going to be putting up onto YouTube. And I'm going to be using a lot of that content to to sort of diversify and, and add on to other platforms, including a podcast. I'm also looking at other methods such as Facebook ads you know, allowing Facebook and using the algorithms of Facebook and using the training that I'm going through right now to boost my the opportunity to be able to get, uh, you know, more of an audience, but to have more control of that audience, because Facebook has a platform where we can control the audience and the demographic uh, as to who we want to target so that I can funnel them into my, you know, perpetual system that, you know, can grow and scale and allow me, you know, in other words, a funnel system that I've been talking about a lot on this channel that allows me to onboard people in a, in a very, very you know, powerful way. And what happens then is I can use my analytics within my funnel system to evaluate who's keen, who's excited, and, and, you know, and work with those and connect with those people, maybe bring them into a Facebook group and get them set up into a, into a really you know, focused Facebook group or focus group. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be Facebook. It can be Instagram and there are other platforms that you can use to set up groups so that you get people uh, congregating into in, in, an, in, in an engaging place. You know, some people like to do Zoom calls. Some people like to do, you know, it depends on what kind of person you are and how you like to get those, to get your important, all important uh, value uh, out to your, your focused team. So some of the things that I, you know, I'm really implementing to help this really, really work for me is that I'm just scaling down the amount of time that uh, doesn't serve me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm scaling down on, you know, for example, you know, scrolling through for social media, for example, there's a lot of, you know, mess and, dis, you know, so many discussions, not only outside of the, uh, of the company that I'm working with, but <laughs> believe it or not, also within the company I'm working with. You know, pretty much whenever I get on Facebook, there, there is some kind of tedious, discussion that I've come across, even from so-called leaders who I used to respect and highly admire, are just, you know, going on about bashing, 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 and, you know, even bashing people within us, within our industry, but also within the company that I'm, I'm 100% focused on, which is crazy. So I've decided, you know, enough is enough. I'm going to be spending pretty much two to three hours a day on that, for, you know, area specifically certainly not discussing and, and getting into discussions with that kind of stuff. And, and you know, I'm not going to even going to be scrolling. You're, you're going to be seeing very little or less time of me on social media. But I'm going to be, you know, really focused on the people that I'm bringing in. I'm going to be, you know, focused on onboarding people. Uh, I'm going to be focused on methods that allow me to work smart and bringing people in using passive traffic methods. Okay, that, that really works, such as Facebook ads. Maybe I might be getting into YouTube ads further down the road. And I will continue to use other solo ad methods that I've been using uh, in the past to really boost things. But, you know, really perfecting my funnel systems that I've been putting out there, such as the funnels that I've been setting up and the share codes that I've been giving out uh, that are part of Leads Leap. All right, so I'm focused on Leads Leap. Uh, and on, you know, using the funnel systems that are, you know, allowing me to onboard people, I can check my analytics, I can see who's focused, I can get those people into my focus groups, we can work and focus together with those like minded people. And, and really, that's, that's my game plan. And, and I really, I, I really recommend this, guys, you know, I honestly, you know, there's a, there are a few apps that you can get that really allow you to focus, you can schedule your time, you can set alarms, 
you know, just to remind you, you know, get the hell off Facebook, get the hell off social media. That's not to say that, you know, obviously we are in the space of marketing, getting ourselves out there. And this might seem like I'm contradicting what I've been teaching and preaching that you need to be, you know, focused on uh, marketing to your audience. And that includes being on Facebook. And yes, I'm not saying you get off Facebook completely. I'm just saying that spend two to three hours a day on Facebook. All right. And then during that time, you could be really focused on, you know, real solid, you know, game plans that you've been setting up, you know, prior to this thinking like, all right, okay, from 9.30 a.m., it, you know, I get on my, with my work, you know, I get started, I start marketing. What, you know, you, you, you list a few things that you're going to be working on, working on, focused on. Uh, how many people are you going to be talking to? Are you going to be networking with some people? Uh, obviously, you're probably getting messages into Messenger, and that's the time where you can, you know, you can help those people. Maybe consider setting up a group so that you can, you know, say, okay, that's a great question. Let's continue this conversation in the group or something like that so that you can get people focused on you know talk you know communicating with people on a sort of a more of a wider audience because other people might have that same issue maybe you're the kind of person who prefers to do zoom calls it doesn't have to be a major zoom it can be literally you know even if it's just one on one with people or you know a group of five key people in your team that you can work with just get them together on a tuesday or maybe three or four times a week and you know say to people said let's save that conversation for, for for thursday because i'm really really dedicated to making sure that you get those answers so you know let's chat on thursday or whatever or you know if you schedule this in with people people will get used to your routines okay but heck you know if you want to talk uh, answer people on a one on one you know on social media great you know just just do it between say 9:30 a.m. and i don't know 12 midday or whatever or maybe you start 11 a.m and finish and and do it you know and finish at two or three or or maybe you know if you're if you're running a day job all right and and then you feel you've you know when, whenever you have time either wake consider waking up earlier or consider going to bed a little bit later or cutting out some you know i don't know netflix or whatever I guarantee, or, you know, guys, I mean, as I've been talking, you know, cut out some of that scrolling time that you do on social media. You know, I've, I've really switched off my phone. In fact, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I have completely deleted any social media off on my phone. Okay, does that mean that I'm completely off social media? Of course not. I'm going to be absolutely on social media for sure, but it's going to be during a period of time that I'm focused and doing my job, but it's going to be income producing activities. I'm not going to be going into, to, you know, endless discussions that don't serve me. That's why you don't really see me in in those chats that often, all right, because I'm not that kind of person. I hate those kind of, you know, people set up those messenger chats. Some of them are focused, some of them great, you know, but I'm not really a chat person. So, you know, you won't see me engaging so much in those kind of chats. I'm not saying I'm perfect. There are so many things I need to alter and and I'm going through that. I'm, I'm altering things. But I've been really focused on, you know, a lot of things now, you know, recently I've been setting up my, you know, my, my, my schedule throughout the day. For example, you know, I, I, I tend to wake up early anyway, but I don't, I prefer not to have breakfast until a few hours after I've woken up. It's just the way I am. I, I can't eat breakfast as soon as I wake up. So during that time, I, I, I can get s- some really good stuff done. So I, I can plan my day, including podcasts that I listen to that are uh, essential to me and including, you know, literally, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes reading, reading a positive book, you know, a, a good book that's, for example, this is, a, this is a great book I highly recommend, Average Sucks. I've got a few, a few other books on the go at the moment, but Average Sucks, I definitely highly recommend that if you can see that. Just just going through a book two or three times a day, you know, even if it's just five or 10 minutes, just get a book, you know, and grab it. And, you know, 8 a.m., I'm, I'm, I'll eat my breakfast. I make sure I'm, I'm, I'm healthy because I want to stay focused. I want to stay focused on my health. Um, and then maybe 9.30, I'm going to start my job. Uh, I say job. It's not. It's my online business. And then that's the time where I can answer questions if I need to. But to, to be really specific, get through those questions as quickly as I can. Uh, I usually do audio messages to people so that people can get the the message. I, I'm not trying to slapdash things. That's why I do audio because uh, I'm trying to be sensible, you know, and not just give a kind of you know short 
slapdash answer that doesn't cover their, their question in detail. So by doing audio, I can answer them clearly and concisely. They can hear my voice and conviction and, and, and care and attention and, you know, love, you know. But, but at the same time, I can get on to the next person who needs my time. Okay, because my time is valuable. Your time is valuable. And then, you know, if I, as soon as I got that done, I might take a brain break, go out for a walk, 10 minute walk, whatever, 15 minute walk. You know, I'm, my focus is by the end of the day to do 10,000 steps minimum. Um, I have a little, I have those kind of apps on, on my phone just to make sure that I'm, you know, staying on track. <clears throat> and then, you know, I mean, I could go through my whole day, but once I've got my messages done, I'm going to focus on my, you know, my, my setting up my marketing, working smart, scheduling my posts. You know, I've got a lot of posts already scheduled. Some of the posts that you read on a daily basis, you know, you think that I've probably spent a lot of time setting up those posts. You know, I, I, I have to say that I've changed a lot of things over the last, you know, one year or whatever since I've been in Live Good. And I have things scheduled up for two weeks, three weeks, five weeks, you know, several months in advance that are going out. It might be, a, you know, a motivational quote or it might type post. It might be some value posts, some recommendations, something I'm focused on, analytical posts, recommend, recon, uh, recognition type posts and stuff. Some of the posts you can't really schedule in advance because they, they happen immediately, you know, so you want to get it out there quick. But I work with templates, you know, and I get templates out there and I, and I upload and I, and I work with stuff that I've, that I've created on Canva and then I just get a graphic and I could be, ha I could have a really good post that some people would probably assume that I spent, you know, maybe an hour trying to set up that post with the graphics and the design and everything. It took me, you know, like, I don't know, less than a few minutes just, just to get a, just to hammer out a post. And, and a lot of it's even scheduled in anyway. So, you know, you might see me post something, but I'm not even online. So, you know, this is just, you know, where, ways that I, you know, tend to want to work smart and want to really focus on the important things in my life that a lot of people don't really know about. You know, I'm based in Japan. I have my, my two little angels, my daughters, and I shouldn't really call them angels anymore because they're teenagers and they hate me saying that. But they'll always be my angels. And I'll be, you know, eventually I'll be 90 years old. And, you know, my, my younger daughter's probably going to be approaching 50 years old and I'll probably still call her my little angel and she's going to hate me for it. But I think some of the fathers out there know exactly what I'm talking about, especially if you've got daughters. Uh, but that's not to say that, you know, uh, I'm sure sons, you know, if you've got little boys, I'm sure, you know, you, got, you, you are the same. But I don't have, you know, sons. And I'm, I'm sure that would be lovely. But, you know, for me, I have two daughters and they are, they're my everything. They really are. That's what keeps me focused, keeps me on track, keeps me evaluating what I'm doing, my next moves. And that's why I'm doing this, guys. You know, I'm going to be starting a podcast up. I'm going to be making sure that I'm going to be getting, you know, over 500,000 views in the next matter of months. I'm going to be using a lot of the content from my YouTube channel, but I'm going to be using methods and apps that I'm going th going through the training to learn how to do and set up the podcast in the right way. I'm going to be doing Facebook ads. I'm going to be, you know, doing a lot of passive traffic generation, but in a way that's really going to work because I'm going to be working with demographics. I'm going to be working with a proper audience. I'm going to be getting, getting stuff out there, you know, and, I, and the whole thing is just completely planned. All right. So I'm going to be doing a lot of this and I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing you know, in this video, it's not about strategy or what I'm going to be offering or blah, blah, blah. It, it's about my next moves and it's about how, how you can consider how to plan your day and what really to focus on and stop messing around with, you know, stuff that doesn't serve you because we're busy, guys, you know, and, and I know you guys, many of you have got a job and, you know, you're just figuring out trying to where I can, you know, apply my time what what things that don't serve me can i just eliminate from my schedule so i can work better on the things that are going to be serving me and income producing activities and so on that's really what i'm going to be talking about i'm going to be continue to do a lot of more you know of, of course more strategy type videos as well as i've been doing um, i'm going to be talking about my my tools my methods my recommendations reviews but this channel is really going to be cranking up I'm going to be doing a lot of new things. I'm going to be focused on YouTube and that's really where the base content is going to be. It's going to be bringing people back. And the great thing about YouTube for me is that it, it sort of almost eliminates the need to worry too much about the technicalities. 
All right, such as, you know, do I need a special funnel? Am I getting on, I'm onboarding people in a better way? The YouTube channel is, is if you get your face in front of it, no AI, no nothing, just your story, you, bare bones, you know, use your mobile phone uh, and the camera just to get yourself uh, the content that you need up there regularly so that people can hear your story resonate with you and that content can be dispersed on the various other platforms. I'm going to be adding, you know, little tools and recommending tools that, you know, you can use to get those shorts, get, you know, the videos that you put on YouTube, you can cut them up, put them onto Instagram, put them onto uh, Facebook, schedule them so that you could be out and about with your children or with your wife, with your girlfriend, with your partner, okay, on holiday or doing your job or whatever, but you could be working smart and your whole business is just always constantly supplying you with eyeballs onto your business bringing people through, onboarding people, getting people set up and sifting the people out that are not serving you, not being focused on, on crazy conversations going on social media, just cut it out of your life, okay? That's really where I'm going, guys. You know, you're going to see me a lot, you know, you're going to see me less on social media for sure. I'm just fed up with a lot of stuff I've been seeing on there recently. So my whole, my whole game plan, my content is going to be mostly on YouTube, but it's going to be out, dispersed and scheduled to be sent out on different platforms. It's going to be cut up and you're going to see little clips going out on Facebook, Instagram and other places. I use LinkedIn, TikTok, Twitter. I'm going to be doing my podcast. I'm going to be doing Facebook ads and probably possibly very likely a bit further on down the road, YouTube ads. And I'm going to be bringing people and funneling people and onboarding people into the focus I, you know, obviously live good. I love live good. Live good is my main focus, but I have other income streams such as the stuff that marries up so beautifully with live good because they're essential tools such as I recommend Lead Sleep. I recommend HBA, Home Business Academy, because I'm learning so much with them every single day, pretty much. I'm also going to be uh, sharing with you guys the mentor that I've just signed up with and I'm glad I did. It was the best move I've ever taken. And that doesn't have anything to do with HBA, by the way. People have been asking me that. It's a one-on-one -on -one mentoring. You, you know, you don't pay cheap for good quality, solid mentoring, but it's the best, best, I, I've, you know, it's the best decision I've made. He also has a, a, a very full-on training course that I'm just absolutely loving. Guys, I'm dyslexic. I have ADHD and I don't know what it is about me. It, is, it might be a trauma that I've gone through in the past, but when it comes to learning something, and this is something I've been concerned about, about myself, is I love YouTube. I love podcasts. I love pulling out a book. But for some reason, whenever, when it comes to signing up for a course, I mean a specific course, I suddenly go blank. I suddenly get, I get I get um, dis, I get distracted, or I I get I get a mental block. I can't go any further. So many courses I've signed up for and paid money for, I didn't finish simply because I have this mental block. And I've just discovered, you know, by doing a lot of shadow work and going through a lot of my you know meditation and other things, and I just found that I've got a I got a bit of a trauma. You know, I've always been labeled dyslexic, you know, good intention, my teachers, wonderful teachers, my mother, she's adorable, but I've been labeled in the past dyslexic. And just the labeling, I'm not going to go through the whole conversations I've had with people how they love me, they care about me in the past when I was a child, but just the whole language, the whole the whole setting up the paradigm of of what I've, you know, built up inside me, bad possibly bad energy, you know, but from good intention has given me this mental block that when it comes to training, when it comes to courses, when it comes to signing up for an official course, I go all blank and I end up never finishing it. It, it all boils back to the time when I was at school, blah, blah, blah. But now for some reason, this mentor has, yeah, I'm just going to talk a little bit about him because I'm, I'm not going to talk about specifically who he is or whatever in this particular video, but I'm going to talk more about him down the road and you'll hear exactly who, I've, who, I, who I'm working with. But, you know, this guy, he's a, He's been a coach in um, fitness. He's a trainer. He's a he's a health expert. He's done so much. He's been an ex. He's he's done incredible things in network marketing, and he's been the top performer in his company for many many for so many years. And and then the interesting thing is he he started from scratch. And then people even within that company, when he was a brand new person, he he just suddenly you, you all of a sudden you saw him on the leaderboard. All of a sudden you saw him doing some things that that seemed to work. And and it wasn't just sort of having luck. It was consistent. It was ongoing, and and it was just, 
you know, people started asking, what are you doing? What is it you're doing? I mean, this guy, he's a wonderful guy. He's not your typical rah-rah, you know, he's a guy from the UK. And I'm not saying that all UK people are, you know, just perfect. I mean, I'm just from the UK myself. And so, I don't know, maybe maybe that's helped me to, to really appreciate him. Um, I don't know. But there's so many other things that I like about him. He's very down to earth. He's not this flashy guy. He, you won't see him probably driving around a fancy car. And that's just really me. But he's doing well. And, and he's, he's done incredibly well. And he's been a martial, you know, he's a martial art. He's a martial, I mean, he's, I, I don't know in detail about the success he's had. But it leaks to me, because he doesn't talk about this. He's actually an introvert. He's very similar to me. He looks to me like he's actually had so much success in the martial arts that he's actually been competing for England. But I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But I, I'm not going to broadcast who he is and, and, you know, his training and stuff like that. I'm going to be talking about that further down the road. But, you know, I'm going through the whole training. I'm going through the whole program. I'm doing the one-on-one -on -one training, the, the mentoring with him. Um, and, or, and already I, I, I see some, some real exciting um, you know, going on. But I, I know this video has been going on for long enough now, guys, and some of you have, have clicked off. But if, you've, if you're still watching to this point, I really appreciate you. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close it down now, but uh, I'm really excited. But, I, you know, for me personally, you know, it's, it's just cutting out all the unnecessary distraction in your day. And that's been really great for me. It's, it's you know, adopting a few habits such as, you know, making sure that we're staying true to our, you know, our promise, showing up and being accountable to our dreams and goals. You know, set yourself up with a vision board, set yourself up with affirmations or, or goals or however you like to do it. Stay on track, get rid of your distractions, keep your phone away from you when you're focused on something, switch off the phone or whatever you do, whatever you have to do. Those are my recommendations, guys. Really simple stuff. Everyone can do this. It'll give you extra hours in the day that you, know, you thought you didn't have just to focus on some income producing activities. All right, this is what I'm really focused on, guys, moving forward. And we'll, we'll talk soon, all right? But I'm going to be uploading content like this, but, you know, also other content like reviews and systems I'm using, platforms I'm using, probably three to four times a week, maybe more, maybe less, but I'm going to try and schedule myself. I'm still going through the, the, the training from my mentor that's actually going to go into a module that's going to really crank up my YouTube channel. So my, my goal, I might pivot. I'm looking, I'm, 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 potentially thinking that there's a, there's a there's a, there's a possible certain pivots that I'm going to be doing just to realign myself to make sure that I'm on on track and focused but I'm not going to you know I'm not you know usually what I do is I, I as you can see I'm I'm really excited and I usually use that excitement just to really crank things up but the downside of that is that I that that I kind of lose, start to lose a kind of momentum or because I'm just putting in too much effort and I'm and I, I'm not really thinking about the the long term you know, aspect or goals that I need to stay focused on. So it's sometimes better to, to pace yourself, maybe three times a week, you know, just to upload content to give you enough time to really plan it and to really get good quality, solid content out there. And then really, you know, allowing yourself to focus on the important thing, the other important things of your business, to have a more of a bird's eye view of everything going on. So anyway, that's what I re really got to focus on, guys. So things might change, but probably three to four times a week is when I'm going to be uploading solid content onto my channel. And I'm going to be using that content to build out my, my podcast and putting that stuff out onto other social media platforms. Um, and I'm going to be focused on putting that inside like two to three hours a day. Okay. So looking forward to running with you guys. If you're ready to partner up with me, you know, reach out to me. We'll talk about what, what it is I'm doing. I may, I may turn around and say, you know, if it, you know, I'm not ready to, you know, to, to share with you exactly what I'm doing because I'm just kind of slightly overwhelmed a little bit in a good way just to, you know, really digest a lot of stuff that I'm focused on. I'm putting together my, my, my vision boards, my one-year plan, my midterm, short-term, midterm, long-term goals, and everything's just being laid out and, and uh, I'm really focused on that. So, you know, it's possible that if you get with me in the next day or two that I might have to sort of kind of like, say, you know, you know, hold on, I'll, I'll be announcing this, you know, perhaps next week or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. All right, we'll chat soon, guys. We'll look forward to, you know, chatting with you soon You'll, and uploading my next content onto my channel. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. Okay, bye for now. Cheers, guys.